Richard Skinner and Doug Martin back with you from Super Bowl here in Erlanger, Kentucky for our final regular season championship of the year between the winner of match one, Dan Meyer, and our top men's qualifier, Rick Carroll. So let's go to the lanes now from Super Bowl. And there is our top qualifier, Rick Carroll, who shot a 740 scratch series to get here. He shot scores of 226, 279, and 235. Only 21 years old. Hadn't been bowling long, just his, in his second year of bowling. And we talked about him last year. As you see him bang home a strike, as we saw him last year, he carried a 170 average. And we knew then that he'd move up in the ranks. And already his average at 188. And you can see with a shot like that, Doug, that he's uh, he's going to probably improve on that score as time goes on, too. Yeah, I think we're going to have a, a good match here. Dan Meyer shot 205 in our opening match, and there he gets some help. He almost was staring at a 6-7 split and comes away with a strike. Well, that powerful ball, just, just uh, even though he went right on the beak, and by right should have had a split, it just bombed him out of there. Well, Meyer, as I said, shot 205 scratch in the first game, carries a 194 average, and is giving away just five pins and handicap here in this match. Looking for a double to start. Yep, again, we've seen him throw. I guess that's about his fourth four pin we've seen here today, Doug. Yeah, he's left quite a few of them. Uh, like we said, with that powerful ball, it just drives his pins right over top of it. I see Dan's an aerospace test engineer for the Martest Corporation. And uh, he's throwing that ball about as fast as that space shuttle. Yep, does a nice job with the four pin again, so a strike and a spare for Meyer to start the match. Rick Carroll, in deference to Dan Myers making his first appearance here today, Rick Carroll making his sixth appearance all time on the program and has two championships to his credit and two second place finishes to his credit. One of those seconds coming last year here at Super Bowl. Hey, get some help both ways. Sawed out the five and got the tap on the ten. Love tap. He got the 10 out. His uh, fiance was having problems with uh, doing that uh, this morning. Yeah, we saw his fiance, Melissa Lucas, in our women's matches. She, of course, finished in second place. And as Doug said, she had some trouble getting that 10 pin out of there. Rick uses a five step delivery. Also throws 16 pound fingertip, fingertip ball. Double up third frame for him. And a three-bagger for Rick Carroll to start the men's championship. I'll tell you the way these guys are throwing, Doug, it's going to probably be about a 220 scratch to win this game. Yeah, I'd say at least. Maybe higher. So Rick's getting uh, 17 pins handicap, and Dan's getting 12, so we just have a differential of five there, so it makes it a good even match. Oh, gave it a <laughs> big-time wiggle and use himself the 10. Take a look at the difference in our two bowlers, and Rick Carroll almost exactly like Bill Moore, who we saw in the opening match, Doug, and of course we talked about the way Dan Meyer cranks the bowling ball. Yeah, Dan really gets down low with that ball, as you can see, his arms wrapped all the way around it. I'll tell you what, for as much hook as he throws, he does a nice job covering that 10-pin. Yeah, he does. That's, uh, that's tough with uh, when you crank a ball like that to go cross lane for that pin, but uh, he's been right on the money here. Now he's into his fourth frame as we quickly move along in this match. Spare up for him. Throwing all these strikes is uh, not going to take long for this match. Got that one out very wide and yep, ends up with a seven count out of it. Uh, he gave that one plenty of room that time. Uh, he's been coming a little bit high and wanted to give himself a little, little room, but he overcompensated, got it out too far. Well, that's the first time in either the first match or this match he's had anything other than a nine count or a strike. Yeah, even, so he's been right around it. Even with that many revolutions, he wasn't able to get it back <laughs> from uh, out in no man's land there. Leaves the one, two, four. And oh, look out. It went right it around it. So the open here in the fourth for Meyer. Anytime you got more than one pin standing up here, you got that possibility. Works in the driver's seat as of right now. His first three balls have been perfect. A 
four in a row for Carroll. Let's make it four perfect ones. As we said, uh, that average isn't going to stay 188 for long. It's going to go up and up and up. Yeah, you see the difference in the two. Doesn't throw as much hook and pretty much a, a down and in bowler, and you got to be very consistent with that kind of a style. Yeah, you do. And uh, he, so far, he's been very consistent. All four pitches have been right, right in the same spot. Five in a row? No, uh, can't get the ten pin out of there. And a good shot, though. Six pin jumped up out of the channel. There, was trying to get it, but. Uh, just wasn't able to do it. So, uh, no perfect games today. Well, Rick Carroll gave it a good run right there. He probably should have had five in a row, and you can see those four straight strikes have got him a pretty big lead. Cross lane for the 10 pin, and no right problem on. for Rick Carroll. So right now, Dan Meyer, moving into your picture, Finds himself down 49 pins as he moves into the fifth frame. As we saw in the first match and on his first shot in this one, he can bang some strikes home. And he sure does right there. Yeah, he's back in the groove with that one. Another truck he threw. I'll tell you, sometimes it's unfortunate you just get 10 pins for a strike. I'll tell you what, when he gets a pin there, he just <laughs> rattles them there. You see it. I'll tell you, he got some high help off the wall that time. It, it took the 10 pin you out can very see high. see on the, uh, the wood picture there how high up those pins are going. And uh, that's one reason why if he's just off a little bit, it's going up over top of the 4 pin or 10. Yeah, he sawed out the, ten, the 7 pin that time. Got that 5 to cut right across. With that, with that much ball, he's got a good wide pocket. He can hit anywhere outside where he was that time to uh, the ball before that. But if he gets in a little deeper, he's going to have problems with that four pin. Carroll goes through the nose and gets a break that he didn't come up with a split. We want to run down some of the other gentlemen that cash this week. Our alternate and scorekeeper here today is Joe Rowland. He finished fourth. Ken Tumler was in fifth. Jim Phelps, sixth. Greg Eaton finished seventh. Jeff Combs, who we've seen numerous times, eighth. This gentleman, Rick Carroll, also finished in ninth. Richard Ollier and Brian Moore finished tenth. And we'll run down the rest here after we see the shot from Carroll and he converts the spare. Mike Johnson, who we've seen a couple of times on the program, was 12th. Jerry Williams was also 12th. Eddie Lampkin, 14th. Tony Baker finished 15th. Charlie Wilson, Ralph Corbin, and Gary Stewart all tied in 16th position. And William Justice, Willie Justice, rather, finished in 19th position this week. Carroll comes back with one right there here in the seventh frame. So he laid that one down, had good fingers on it, as he did the first four pitches, and uh, he's a perfect strike. Just like to remind everybody out there once again about summer leagues that are now forming at all the Northern Kentucky BPA bowling centers. Uh, there's nine member centers in Northern Kentucky, so for the finest in bowling all year round, uh, go to your local BPA bowling center. Beat the heat and come indoors. Well, Meyer had a chance to really cut some ground if he could have struck right there. But unfortunately for him, he got it out very, very wide and talked about the margin of error. And yes, he does have a big one, but you can't get out that wide. Not, not quite that big. Leaves himself the one, two spare. See if he can convert that. And he does, he does covers it with the ball. But right now he trails by 38 pins, and we'll get a chance to take a look at that. And there you see it, a 38 pin differential right now. I want to thank our fine crew that have done such a great job for you all year. And our crew here today, the executive producer, Ted Bushelman, our director, Mike Nichols, the technical director, Phil Racine, engineer. And they've got down here little Timmy Eversole, and he does do a good job, however. Even as wide as the pocket he has, he's uh, not been able to find it here the last few frames. Brings that one up right on the nose. He needs a spare to stay in it. Our freeze frames and replay brought to you by Jay Schumacher. Graphics by Donna Levinson. 
camera folks here today, Jana Sodi, Mel Whitehead, and Billy Rolfus, and the remote lighting provided by Lisa Foster. Eight frame now for Rick Carroll, strike up for him and in command of this match. Solid 10, Ben. I'll tell you what, in, in eight frames thus far, Rick Carroll has thrown seven shots just about that have been absolutely perfect. Yeah, he's been uh, been right on the money here. Maybe his fiance gave him a few pointers uh, that she learned on the lanes and helped him out. Nope, cross lane for that 10 pin, and Carroll has filled every frame thus far and is on a nice nice clip right now got a potential 263 if he can strike out in the ninth and tenth and that would be 246 scratch see Ted Bushman over there looks like the man from Mars with his headset and the antenna on there <laughs> well he's the one that, that keeps us in order <laughs> Well, he's uh, getting these spares, though. It should be no problem for him. We talked about it early in the match. It would probably take a 220 scratch game to win it, and Carroll going to go right on by that 220 mark. Yeah, he should be up in 240, 50 range. Gets the spare right there in the ninth. So now Dan Meyer, he's got a potential 224, but uh, that puts him in range where all Carroll has to do is get a decent pin count in the 10th frame and he's going to win. Let's see if Dan can put a little bit of heat on. Well, you saw him flirt with that split back in the first frame and he came out with a strike and this time, as you said before today, that the, the breaks do even out and that time he got a bad one. Yeah, here we see uh, went right up on the nose and we see 6-7. Tough split. It's going to give it a shot. Oh, I'll tell you what, we've seen some balls go just right on by making some tough splits here today. Another inch on that one, he would have had it. There you see it, Rick Carroll in complete control of this match, and he's going to come out with his third championship all time. There's a strike for Meyer a little as late. As we see it happen so often in matches, once it's over with, then the pressure's off, and they just crush them after that. I'll tell you what, though, this, this gentleman's been impressive today, although he's not going to come over here with a championship, Doug. He, uh, we've seen him throw some powerful, powerful strikes. Well, we sure have. I'm sure he's going to be tough in, that, in those finals next uh, week. I want to remind you that the finals will be at Wall Center Lanes. There he got a break as he <laughs> got that one a little snug and he came away with a strike. There you see it kind of got one of those domino type. It just kind of let a couple pins fall into each other. Yeah. Got one flyer up in the air there in the middle. Well, well, I'll tell you what, that one was in there solid. And he comes back with a big smile on his face, kind of <laughs> hard to believe. You get one strike and you don't get another. 199 the finish for Meyer. He finishes with 187 scratch. But now Carroll, a potential of 252, which scratch wise would be 235 if he can strike out. Yeah, he's bowled a heck of a game here. It's just about Miller time for him. Yeah, let's see what he can finish with. That leaves himself a five pin. Again, we want to remind you of our crew here today. The executive producer, Ted Bushelman. The director, Mike Nichols. Our technical director, Phil Racine. Our engineer, Tim Eversoll. Free frames and replay brought to you by Jay Schumacher. Graphics provided by Donna Levinson. Our camera people, Jana Sodi, Mel Whitehead and Billy Rafus, And our remote lighting provided by Lisa Foster. Nope, the spare for Carroll, and now a potential 241, which would be 224 scratch. And we talked about the 220 being the barrier to win, and that's exactly the scratch score that Rick Carroll's shooting at. About a 224 clip with 10 more. Our 
final shot of the regular season right here by Rick Carroll. And a good way to finish out our regular season with a strike. So give Carroll 241, 224 of which is a scratch score. Our men's champion this week, there you see it, it's Rick Carroll over Dan Meyer. We'll be back out to give some prize money in just a moment. Welcome back to Super Bowl, Richard Skinner along with Doug Martin. We uh, have some prize money to give out first. Our youth bowlers, Don Perry, our champion, and our runner-up, Scott Patrick, could not be with us here for this ceremony. They had to go to a party for their youth travel league, but uh, be assured they've got their scholarship money in hand. Unable to be with us, however, but we do have some money to give away, Doug, and I'll let you do that right now. Well, this is the favorite part of the show, I think, for our uh, bowlers. Kathy, uh, you couldn't quite find the pocket this morning, but we still got some money for you for third place. Congratulations. And Melissa, uh, you were throwing a good ball there the first game, but couldn't uh, find the pocket again the second game, unfortunately. But uh, you did a fine job, and your fiancé is going to bring home the big dollars today, so you guys are uh, going to be in good shape. So there you go. Congratulations. And Sheila, you're our champion today. You get the big money, $100. Congratulations. Good shooting. Now we go to the men. Bill Moore, uh, got a check here for you, Bill, $88. Good shooting. And Dan, you were throwing a truck today. That first game, uh, you were. I think we're going to have to buy new sets of pins down there. But uh, you just came up a little short there that last game. Uh, but still, a good good effort on your part. Got a check here for you, $140. Congratulations. And Rick, great shooting. Uh, had a tough opponent there. And Dan, uh, that first game uh, would have scared me off the way he was throwing that ball. But you didn't let it bother you. Came out with four strikes and uh, continued on from there and had a heck of a game. And uh, got a check here for you, $190. Congratulations. Good shooting. Thanks, Doug. I want to remind you, this is our last regular season week here at Super Bowl. And next week, of course, our championship finals, which will be held at Walt Center Lanes in the Newport Shopping Center. We hope that you'll join us for that. We want to thank you for being with us all season long. Again, our championship will be next week. Until then, I'm Richard Skinner for Doug Martin and the rest of our crew. Thanks for being with us. So long, everybody.